and another welcome sight is going to be the snow that we're going to be getting. I'm sure yes. that they're going to love that. Yes. Especially, it's going to be great. Yes. It's going to be great. Not a jumper, Sarah Beth? You know, we were just <laughs> joking. Um, I'm a little scared of that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. I love skiing. I yeah, love being love on the skiing. slopes, but not going to be doing that. But we will be able to enjoy the skiing for the long week, and it's going to be great out there. One of those places, Smuggler's Notch. Oh. You've, you've been there a couple times, haven't you? Yeah, you know, a couple just times. Just a couple times. <laughs> Look at that beautiful shot this morning of the sunrise with the fresh snow there. Unfortunately, the sun is going away as we speak. You can see on Storm Tracker already have those high clouds backing in on the leading edge of that storm, so they're already overtaking the Champlain Valley. Of course, northern New York has been in those clouds for at least an hour or so now. Southern Vermont, the upper valley, still basking in that sunshine, but it's short-lived, so get out, enjoy it right now. It's light wind out there. It feels great in that strong February sun. Here's the storm that's coming in tonight. It's a little you know, Alberta Clipper doesn't look like it's got too much juice with it, but there's a couple periods of heavy snow in there, and that's why we're not expecting a blockbuster storm by any means, but certainly enough to freshen up the landscape. So let's take you through the timing on that snow tonight. You see the clouds thicken up through the rest of today, but the daylight hours are dry for just about all of us. By 5 o'clock, though, the snow's right on the doorstep of St. Lawrence County, so it comes in there first. By 8, 9 o'clock, it's fully within the Champlain Valley, most of Vermont. Last place to get it will be the Northeast Kingdom that comes by 10 p.m. And you see it snows essentially all night long. This is 2 a.m. May start to break up farther south, but farther north, especially close to the Canadian border, that's where the snow is going to hang on the longest. Even tomorrow morning, most of the valley locations should be okay, but the mountains, northern Champlain Valley, and the St. Lawrence Valley may still be snowing through a good clip of tomorrow morning, and then it tapers off to just plain old snow showers throughout the day on Friday, hanging on longest in the mountains. So ski areas continue to cash in. Saturday's looking pretty good as well. There is still a chance on Saturday though for some afternoon snow showers, maybe some heavier bursts of snow. So the snow, the powder just keeps adding up at the ski resorts through the first part of the weekend. Now snow totals aren't very impressive right in the Champlain Valley, thinking it's more of a two to four inch event here, but certainly along route 11, four to eight inches, about two to four inches for Saranac Lake and Lake Placid. I could see the higher end of that range. Newcomb certainly looks like it could be in the four to eight inch range. Northern Green Mountains, four to eight about one to two inches in the Champlain Valley. I could see some higher amounts in Burlington and Middlebury, but it looks like there will be some cutoff in the totals farther south. But notice the northern Champlain Valley up there, four to eight inches for the islands, even up by St. Albans could see five or six inches of fluff. And the four to eight inch range goes down route uh, 100 there into southern Vermont. So even the southern Green Mountains get in on some of those higher totals. So here's how the snow adds up in a few areas. Plattsburgh thinking about four inches total Total, and most of that snow falls in the very early morning hours before sunrise, and then it could be some lingering snow showers. But overall, for the Champlain Valley, this is a nighttime event. It may hang on a little bit longer. Remember, I was showing you the northern Champlain Valley? So we took the Champlain Islands, especially Isle Lamont, North Hero, Alberg, could see upwards of six inches or so of fluff. And notice how even after sunrise, it still adds up to a couple more inches. So that's what it's looking like for tomorrow, just in time for President's Day weekend, a couple of snow showers there Saturday. Should see some brightening of the sky though, Sunday into Monday, and the next week looking milder with the next chance of precip coming next Thursday and Friday.